elevators are closed for Martin Luther King Day, so it's truck service day. Jay's in the middle of servicing that one. This one has been serviced or hooked up to the crane here. Does that tire need fixed? It was just a little low, so they went to town to get that done. And the great Peter build also needs it, I think. Yep. It's not insulated out here though. I need to check tires in my or air, air pressure tires. There's your bucket. Thanks for the bucket. Fixing leaks on this. He's checking all the in 10 minutes. How many fathoms is it? <laughs> I'm trying not to get oil down the tank or dirt in the oil. Yeah. What well, kit ties into the transmission? Man. There you go, guys. Good leaking. Trip. We're working on the Kenworth truck. Can you see me? Yeah. And this bottom of this step broke off. See? And we'll show you where it goes here in a minute. We're putting a piece of angle iron on here, aluminum, and with stainless steel bolts so it don't rust in the aluminum. We're going to tighten this one. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Then bring over here and we'll see what it looks like. This is gonna work. Come over here. Okay. See this was broke off. It was on top of here. And then it's, when you would step wait, on it. Please step. Huh? It's dead. No, it's not. It's got the light going. When you step on here, this go underneath of here. See, and now it won't do that because we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna fix it so it don't. Aren't we? That'll work, won't it? Yeah. What do you think? Now you'll be able to step on it. It won't pop down here because this piece was broke. Mm -hmm. Now we got her fixed. Okay. Okay. You gonna take us back to your dad? Yeah. We'll see. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Three oil changes done, step fix. We don't studying for uh, all the uh, commercial applicator license and seat treatment license gotta take a test every three years so studying for that uh, about every farmer has to take a private use one to uh, be able to buy restricted use chemicals and whatnot I gotta take the commercial one because uh, treat soybeans and treat soybeans for other guys so it's due up this winter so while I'm in line do a little studying fun fun just got dumped dad got here way before me <laughs> but just the way that the lines work out on the dumps I'm gonna get out of here way for him you gonna love this there he is sitting in line for dump uh, three I'm done on dump one Just give him a wave on the way by.
on something different today. White corn. Taking it to a different elevator. It's got different uses. Mostly just the color. The main difference, but two for like flour, tortilla chips, shells. I should have brought the drone to uh, show you this elevator from above, which I've never done there, but oh well. Bring the GoPro with us. I've been probed, waiting for test results. This guy's behind me, he's waiting to get probed. She got up earlier this morning, then you could have been in front of me. I was in front of you, I got gouged. They dumped grease on a non-dumping bean pit with beans at ADM, just so he could gouge me. Thanks, ADM. This is the mighty Azteca. How big those bins are, those are awful big. Yeah. 500, I'd say. 750's up there at Lincoln Land. Are those as big? They seem, I don't know. 105 Draw. across a bit. They look big. I'm going with 500. Might be 500. A lot of them. What is there? Eight? Yeah. All right, ticket in hand. See the scales. On the way to the precision planning, what do you call this thing? Conference. Uh, winter conference. Winter conference. Me and Reese are going down here. Check it out. Fancy. It's our new shop. Yeah, that works. Yeah. All money in glass. Yeah. So we're going to be constantly adjusting the steering of the sprayer to keep the white line on top of the blue line. Best part of the day, launch. Yeah, that's for sure. I guess it's just the trees that get through launch. The rest of the day downhill. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see them. These are the bolts you're talking about. That's all I got in my glove box. Door bolts. I don't know. Maybe I order them. Maybe these are. I don't know. Maybe that bolts the bracket shut. Look in the book. Conference thoughts while well, it's all fresh in your mind. How do you like it? I like the precision planning conference very well, except for the maintenance, maintenance on your planner in the shop. Anybody should know that stuff. <laughs> Other than that, it was great. Yep. Mm. I had a lot of new things coming. A lot of new sprayer things. Yep. New camera, nice camera. Yeah, new camera on the sprayers. Where they'll up, up, the, up the rate, out, up the rate, where the weeds are high, the camera will know it, eventually be able to spot, spray them. Yeah, you know our bridge is that way. Yeah. Are oh, you going there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like it just to have that to be able to up the spray rate as you go, let alone with the spot spray. Yeah, that'd be handy. So all some people we knew? Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Yep. At least a handful, several. Young baseball player. Yep, John yeah, Hart. Yeah, skipping school. Skipping school. But he had to get back for baseball practice. Yeah. It's raining. Anything else? Nice. Mm -hmm. It was nice convention center. Very nice. Very place. nice convention center. It was remote. I didn't know it was going to be remote. No, did not know that. Makes sense. I guess you go to Tremont if you don't want it to be remote. I guess so. But next year, if you don't want it to be remote, go to Tremont. What do you think? We don't know that. No, we did. We did it. We know now. Maybe. Yeah, we think. It might be different next year. Kentucky left on reds to the right. Should be. <sighs> Lunch was good. Lunch was good. Well, good info. All the different uh, trash wheels. That was different. Yeah, I like those trash wheels. Used to have uh, 
coders on the frame like they got trash goes on the frame now why are you pointing at me when you're talking well <laughs> you should be able to get coders on the frame but there was no depth it was you know these trash wheels they had on the frame go off a wheel so they stay the right depth i think that looks real good yeah had their own individual gauge wheel just yeah. for the trash wheels yeah that might be the kind of trash wheels we want next time instead of roll mounted look good all right anyways good job precision planning nice job nice conference okay we're leaving owensboro kentucky for the plea uh, precision planner conference going across the blue bridge which was the first time coming over i'd ever been on here at the ohio river or why they call it the blue bridge i don't know why it's called the blue bridge but i don't know we can call somebody in this. <laughs> Nice shot of a crappy day on the Ohio River. There's that conference center. Big. Over there is where we was at, if you can see it. It's a big place. The worst part about today is we're what? getting my truck dirty. <laughs> I'm surprised we took it. One thing I forgot about the camera that they put on the uh, sprayer they're going it's also well only it'll be able to tell weeds it'll be able to tell the crop condition how many runs you got at late emergence so i thought that was pretty neat coming down the pipe which will be on the uh on the sprayer road on the guide. booms and they also have road guides using the camera which deer has yeah they got deer. and they, they got, got their own version of deer's exact supply that you can put on your sprayer now so we got a different sprayer. That's good too. Or an older one. Or an older one. We don't have them. Then of course all the planting stuff. They got all kinds of stuff. Whereas from the concealed to the furrow jets to the delta force. Plant. Yeah. But I thought it was precision spraying there for a little bit. I did too. Today is Thursday. Everybody else is out trucking. Besides, well, we got five trucks on the road and David is working on another bin auger. This is a bean bin at his house where the main 10 inch auger goes out to uh, load it to the bin where that connects on the inside. There's a shaft that goes and connects to the auger sweep. Anyways, that shaft that connects two pieces is broke. So he went to go get one of those and then might be over there helping him later. Right now, while everybody else is hauling, I got the uh, red Volvo in the shop here. Had uh, been waiting on some parts, finally came in. Got a Sherco Smart 2 4500 HD, I believe is what it's called. Anyways, been having a lot of trouble with it. It's got a whole new box and all new wiring harness. But right now, all it does is work for a while. I'm gonna work the whole time now. But it'll stall sometimes, so you can only go about six inches at a time until it does that, quits working. And it's got 12 volts the whole time, so we don't think it's a power source. So. I'm up inside the trailer. Yeah, I know it's dirty, it needs wash. But uh, got the new box here, all plugged in. We will see if it works. I don't know the problems on this side, obviously. I'm just going by sound. I can definitely hear it running. I should probably have a camera on it out there, but the production team doesn't plan out that well. Talk to TechSport, Sherco. Sure think we need a controller for it now hopefully that fixes it david needs more parts for his grain bin problems one of those what's that do that comes off the chain drive for uh the power sweep 
in the center well and I needed one of the new shaft, got that, but that is too much play. We might as well put a new one on now. Yep. While it's parked. Happy parts run to you. Yep. And I'm going to start working on this fuel strap right here. Holds the fuel tank on. It has busted, so. Got a new one in, old one off, new one on. See how that goes. So I had to use a little heat, but after that, I'll be able to just unscrew the top half here. There's a pin that holds it back there, kind of like a T-handle thing, but that is not wanting to go up, come out. I think I'm just going to replace. Just replace the strap, just leave that in there, and we'll have those for extras. Wash off some of the grodiness where it's going on that, but I think the new one, I think it, I think it looks a little better than the old one. Besides the, the being broke part. That's where it broke at. Attaches at the bottom, attaches at the top. Everything's a hammer when you need a hammer. All right, she's all just needs tightened up. Then on to the seat. A new seat came in for this. The whole seat was broke. David ordered a new one, and it's already here. So, red baby's getting a getting a makeover. All right, old seat out. This is the new seat. Came with adapter plate, so the holes in the Volvo will line up with this new one. Worked all pretty smooth, fit right on here. Okay. Only problem is, four bolts held it down, and one of them broke off in there. It, so, uh, if we can get that thing out of there, there'll be nothing to it, but that's, uh, that's our little problem at the moment. They were tight. Okay, seats in, straps fixed, tarp is, uh, Functioning. Functioning. Good word. Now, the shocks are, we're going to replace the shocks on the cab because everybody seems to think it's a little weeble wobbly. Yep. Uh, I think it'll improve the road. Certainly hope. <laughs> Put a Cadillac sticker in this thing when we're done. <laughs> yeah. Cut her off, go ahead. Um, shock's been a problem. Okay, it's Friday. We got one shock and one airbag replaced. One shock left to put on. Old. Pretty worn out. Yeah. Much better. It's been a great time. That and, is. and that's a lie. Just filled up with a load of yellow corn here at the home farm. I'm gonna head down to Newburgh and uh, see how she rides. Shocks change, airbags change, fuel straps on. What else we do? Tarp may or may not be fixed. I think that's about it. Oh, seats change, new seat. Should ride nice. I guess we'll find out. Made the elevator back. Truck rides good. It's in good shape. 
Dark still needs some work. Got an issue with an encoder, it says. So, call IT support about that. I'm up for Joe Taggart's load. We got one bin that we're right here full of corn. This is about to get loaded. Take her back up to the shop for the weekend. <laughs>